Hey everybody, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on ticker symbol WKHS or Workhorse Group Inc. Um, checking out some of the recent news stories here, there is one all the way back to the 23rd. That is the latest one showing here in TD Ameritrade, but it talks about um, the Workhorse Group granted U.S. patent titled Flying Vehicle Systems and Methods. Um, so that is from Benzinga there. So that's kind of one of the latest news stories here. Um, let's check out the price action. 15-minute um, chart is definitely a downtrend. You can see this thing really just making lower highs and lower lows. Um, latest signal here on my trend reversal indicator was a sell on this candle right here on the 15-minute time frame. Let's check out the one-hour chart. So on the one hour chart, it was kind of trading within a range for a bit. And then towards the tail end of this chart, you can really see that downtrend, uh, which we got to look at on the 15 minute chart. Um, on the one hour time frame here, my latest uh, signal here for my trend reversal indicator is actually a buy. So on the one hour time frame, I do have that buy signal flashed there and a stop loss line of $5.56. Let's check out the daily chart. So on the daily chart, um, yeah, just a slow bleed out towards like the second half of this chart. You saw a little bit of a rally here. And then since this point, it's really just been a slow trickle down um, and a slow bleed out. As you can see here, the price was around $18 and now we're all the way under six. So yeah, just kind of some slow bleeding here. Um, on the daily chart, latest signal here for my trend reversal indicator is a sell. That was on this candle right here. So trade, I was trading around seven or a little bit above $7 at that point. So yeah, it was definitely a good indication there or a good sell signal on the daily time frame. Let's head back to the 15 minute here. Um, and yeah, looking at this right now, um, it seemed to bottom out on this time frame around 562 or so. That's where the stop loss line was plotted after this buy signal right here. So I would keep an eye on that. Um, if this thing starts to bleed away from the 21 day exponential moving average again um, and move down, I think it's going to retest here around 562. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. I mean, if this thing sells through that level and closes below that level on the 15 minute time frame, then yeah, we're just continuing this downtrend that you're seeing here. Um, and then to the upside, you see some pretty good rejection around 590. Um, you see three wicks sticking out here. Let me zoom in a little bit. But yeah, you got uh, the body of these two candles rejecting that level leaving a wick sticking out, and then this one here as well, leaving another wick sticking out. Um, so if the buyers are going to step into this thing and try to get out of this downtrend um, and start an uptrend, I'm going to be looking around that 590 level. That would be a good sign if the price could rally above that level and close above it. Um, if it can, then I would be looking up maybe around here. you got a lot of candles around you know, 607, 610. You could see a candle here. Well, I mean, even back to here, you've just got a ton of candles rejecting around that level. So those are a couple key price points um, that I would keep an eye on, um, depending where this thing starts to trend on Monday. So I'll continue to keep you guys updated on WKHS or Workhorse Group Inc. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.